Good day, everyone. Um, can you please introduce yourselves to me? Um, my name is Ponti Tikua guys. I'm a musician, I'm a father, and I'm a husband. Yes. Uh, my name is Steven. I uh, work at the Beauty Campaign. Okay. Um, my name is Paulus. I'm an IT technician by profession. Uh, my name is Leko Shutolo. I'm a musician um, as well as an actor. Welcome. Good morning, Pando, and everyone else. My name is Franz Kalenga. I'm a father and I'm a petroleum engineer as well. Can you guys also introduce yourselves? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Uh, my name is Matthias Saimene. I'm a baba. As you can see, we have all the <laughs> I'm a baba. Yeah, my name is Walenga Shamuang and a motivational speaker, a B3. <laughs> today's, today's first question is about it's about male engagement and why why males or men mostly contribute more to gender-based violence mm. and rape and like violence in general. Why do men contribute to that? Mm. Mm. Well I would say look um as men um lack of other figures um lack of knowledge you know most men grow up with violent fathers uh, most men grow up seeing their fathers or other men also beating women and um, um, most men also grow up um, not knowing what 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 made their fathers be that type of way and not being explained to you know, and, not, and then not having the freedom asking the father why are you beating them Maybe some of them did ask, but they they also get got beaten in the process of you are asking too much questions. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, you, you understand. So now these guys they grow up, um, not knowing that my father also did this because he was frustrated because he never had a job. My mother probably told him, "Why can't you get up and get a job?" And because of that, my father started beating my mother. You understand? And now this guy also sits without a job. He's frustrated. You know, he has got children to look after. But now, it, for him, it's a good, good excuse just to beat everyone up, you know, so that he, so that everyone asks him less questions and just leave him alone. You understand? So I would say it's a lack of 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 of, of, of proper father figures, lack of of of, of, of job also, um, and um, just also what they know growing up. You know, most men they grow up this way, so they do. Maybe yeah. um, I can also add to that. Some and also to add on to that, I think some of it is also based on uh, is it cultural beliefs, I believe. For some guys, um, when you beat your lady and you go to other guys and you break about it, you're meant to say, Yeah, 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 yeah. You beat the wife. Yeah. So it's, it, it can also be a contributing factor on what people believe back in the days that as a man, you should beat your wife. That's how they. That's how you are respected yeah. mm -hmm. when you lay your hands on your woman. That you, you, you are yes, you mm -hmm. are showing your strength, and we are not supposed to show it physically, physically. not at all. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a way of, um, let me say, telling the wife, do this, not you instructing them with a yes. slap or yes. a kick. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I believe also based on some background beliefs. Yeah. It, it, we are tend to be the ones that are more to this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, you know, funny enough. Few women were saying, I don't want the soft men, you know. I was about to say, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 I know the case. Yeah. Um, uh, this, this girl, um, she actually turned me down because mm. she said I was tamed, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm a bit softer. Mm. And then she said she's into macho men, mm. and then uh, you know, um, she said, um, uh, that apparently she a man should be able to handle and smack her when it's yeah. needed. So now, you know, when, when, when it happens for the first time. Like when you let it happen, yes. you know what happened? It became a, a thing, and now what happened? It became a whole police case. Start creating this monster in you, yes. also. Yeah. yeah. So I, sometimes I really don't think I, I want to say it. I want to say uh, that uh, a few cases women also contribute to this. Like, true, but women also contribute yeah. to, to men being who they are, mm -hmm. especially in society. They let these things happen. Once you men, I I tell my girlfriend, not mm -hmm. girlfriends in the dating, but mm -hmm. girl. Those that I'm angry, I'm with. So I tell them like, if you let a man do what you want, 
who's going to do it once again for a third. So I don't know. It's like most men who got away with the first theft, yeah. you know, they feel like, ah, this is actually easy. Exactly. We can do it again. Yeah. 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 Uh, just to, 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 to add on what my colleagues are saying, mm. for me, I would like to believe also that uh, lack of self-belief mm. and not finding a, a identity is the main contributing factor. Not that I'm disagreeing with, with my what colleagues in a, se- in a sense mm-hmm. that if I know who I am and the beliefs that I have, yeah. whether a woman push me to that limit mm-hmm. that uh, warrants me to slap her, mm-hmm. I will not do it because I know my identity yeah. and I know my beliefs. Mm-hmm. A person's uh, belief cannot influence mine if I'm rooted in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what they say in life? What is right is not popular, mm. and what is wrong is very it's popular. Very popular. You understand? That's why we find it very easy to do the wrong things because they are more popular. Now, bringing it to to violence, how is 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 we having a discussion earlier on? I mentioned something like faith is a chemist of the head that is sent to the brain, you know? And then the brain believes it. How? By continuous affirmation of you doing that. Mm. Now, they say you are by the result of the spirit that is within you Mm. and what you are exposed to. Adding to what Aponte is saying. So if you find yourself in that uh, confinement where everything is just violence, you become that violence. Now, if the brain now is exposed to something different, that you can actually resolve this issue you committed violence on in a different manner and continuously sending that instruction to the brain and doing it, then you you have a different perspective like, oh, okay, we're talking about the food issue. Mm, yeah. You will not know that this food is bad mm, because it's the only food you are eating. Mm, you know, you will not know that there's good food out there. Once you taste the other food out there, then you realize, oh, that food was mm, bad. Mm, this one is good. Mm, it's the same when you are in the violent mm, setup. So to sum it up, it's the environment, the culture setup, what we are meant to be like, no, uh, Men don't cry, men don't show emotions. They take it, let me coin it as masculinity. The definitions that we have put to masculinity is what mostly is leading us to gender-based violence. Because of our ego. Men's egos are easily bruised. And when you bruise the man's ego, it's like an insult to his masculinity. Mm. So he needs to prove a point that this is not what you think I am. I can show you that I'm not weak. Mm. So all these factors put together, they really contribute. Some are far deeper. Now, the only way to identify them is, I love this platform because we need to interrogate them. Absolutely. Because what I might be battling with, if, 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 last year we went to a prison where we sat down, uh, guys, and tell us the story of how they ended up there, you will be surprised to find that everybody has a different story on why they committed why they did. Mm-hmm. Now, what is the benefit of that? Mm-hmm. Nothing here on earth is new to any man. Mm-hmm. But until we talk about them, then when I will know like, oh, Steve was dealing with this issue. Now I'm confronted with this issue. I need to act this way, this way, based on Steve's experiences. Mm. So experience also teaches us on how to keep this gender-based violence. Otherwise, if we keep quiet, we will continue committing these crimes. Mm-hmm. Um, other question is, like, do they is Father's Day? What do you guys think is the importance of a father figure to a child? Okay. What do what do kids think is it 
No, mm. what like what do what? you guys mean? Think is mm. the importance of having a chance like for people of chance. Mm. For me, I raised up my children um, in a way where I was always the lion and the lamb. Mm. You know, my child knows in the tone of my voice when Papa is speaking. Mm. And he knows also by the tone of my voice, the father wants to play. So the importance I would say is like raising your children in the right way. Not let them to fear you, but also in the reverence of respect. You know, they have the perfect balance, but it must be a perfect balance where they know that I know now my father is serious. I know now my father want, wants to play with me. And also to 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 uplift your children, you know, encourage your children and to as a father, identifying your child, your child's gift from a young age, and raising him up in that direction, you know, and as being a present father all the time, you know, I love to be present with my children. I would say I spend forty percent of my time working, and sixty percent of my time with my children, but in the forty percent of my time working. 10% of that time, my children are with me in work, seeing what I do, you understand? So being present is very important for me in that aspect. Very, very, very true. Point. For me, um, to try and answer that question, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of perspective from different person of what will make you as a father proud of. Why would you want to be a father figure? I see this, just forget about being a father. In a job setup, let's say you have a manager and there are people reporting to you. What is your goal? If you call yourself a leader, you will want to groom, you will want to educate, you will want to guide, you will want to inspire, you will want to mentor, all the beautiful things. Mm. But nobody said that this is going to be easy, bed of roses. Sometimes not, because most men, <laughs> some managers, they want to be, they work as not to be better than them. Yeah. Yes. And some fathers also don't want their children to uh, surpass them. Yes. But coming to what I said earlier on, if you know your identity, mm -hmm. and your identity is, I want to be better in life. Mm -hmm. And you don't have that jealous or envy mm -hmm. of everyone. There's a saying that says that you are not successful in life if that success does not help others succeed. succeed. With my children, I want to do all those things. We spoke about children, they don't do what you tell them. They do what you do. So if I want really to be a good father figure in my child's life, I need to do all the right things. But the silver line is here. Give your children the freedom of choice. Because that is important. Be the father, yes, but give that person the freedom of choice. Otherwise, they will be living their life being like you, mm. when their purpose in life is not being like you. Yeah. I don't even make any sense. Yeah, sense. Yeah. You know, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you give them freedom of choice, mm. your job is to panel beat it and guide it to something that is beautiful, mm. that is successful, mm. that is meaningful, mm. not something that is destructive, yes. because they have made their choice. Mm. Mm -hmm. and they will do it happily mm -hmm. and they will make you proud mm -hmm. I think also based on what you say um, exactly the same qualities mm -hmm. mentorship, mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. uh, direction mm -hmm. identity mm -hmm. that we find fathers are supposed to provide mm -hmm. in homes that are raised by single mothers or single fathers, mm -hmm. isn't that exactly the reason why men then seek for those very same things in their friends and gangs? Yes, yes. exactly. It's like any other, like mostly this happens with women also. Mm -hmm. Women, 
you don't understand why are they so like bitchy or you know out there dressing the way they dress and mm-hmm. you know and, and looking for loves outside mm-hmm. it's because of lack of father a girl needs her father just like the son also needs a father but mostly when it's a girl and a boy girl need more father than a boy a boy is naturally a father already built in built you understand like my girl i have a daughter growing up my wife would fix her up do her hair dress her up make her look beautiful but does not matter what my wife said how she looked like mm. it's not enough she would come to where i am and say papa <laughs> look yeah. whatever i'm busy with i must stop mm. and just take a minute and say wow mm. oh <laughs> my goodness ah yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you get blown yeah. <laughs> and up to this day even my daughter yesterday we were driving and i was laughing i said something of I never do this thing. I don't like this. This is not right. But she does not know what I'm talking about. Mm. And then she saw the thing while we were driving. And then she's like, I don't like this. I will never do this. <laughs> you know? Just because of what I had said. She, she, you know, that's why Jesus said, I only do what I see my father do. Mm. You understand? They also only do what they see us do. Mm. They don't care whether, I don't know what my father meant, but my father said he does not like that mm. thing. Yeah. Me also don't like it, but they don't understand why. As long as my father don't like it, me also don't like it. That's why I always tell my wife, we cannot fail. We cannot mess up in front of them. Fail secretly, you know, but not in front of them. Okay, maybe not fail secretly because failure it depends what you're failing in your yeah. business yeah your children are supposed to see how you fail and pick yourself up yeah. of course but doing wrong things in front of them i would say let's not do wrong things in front of them know and knowing that these things might destroy them yeah. so because they are like sponges yeah. if you yeah. put a sponge so, in water it soaks up everything it absorbs yeah. everything yeah. yes but but the danger to that is i, I, I would like to coin it in a sense that I would really want to take through my kids all the way. What I mean by that is most of the time, you know, there are secrets parents keep and they are scared to tell you because you are young Mm -hmm. and because they think you cannot handle it. Only later, by the time they tell you, that's when it really messes you up. (laughs) The time that they think is right for you to know. You understand? So, all this, uh, what Fondi is talking about, like failure. And, uh, I personally, I would want my kids to do that. My daughter, I have a daughter. And I will, I will give a, 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 an example on how really growing up without a father affected me. Because I was rejected when my mom was pregnant. Up to now, I don't know who my father is. So, my daughter, as much as she knows, no, Papa is an engineer, he can provide this. Mm-hmm. She washes dishes, she cleans the house, then I pay her. Mm-hmm. Why I'm doing that is not because if a, if a stranger comes to my house to say that this one is abusing the child, but I'm not abusing, the, I'm just trying to teach my child that in life you will not get things for free. Mm-hmm. I am here today because I'm your father. But when I'm not here, you should be able to offer this for yourself and get something in return. Because whatever you get free, most of the time there's a catch to it, you know? But now you want to say like, no, I don't want to teach my kids this way. I want to wait for them when they are grown. But that time their mind is already filled up with different things that will take time to uproot. You know, that's why they say when if you want to teach a child, teach them when they are still young, yeah. whether music, new language, or whatever, because they get part. Yes. And once they know that, they will never part from oh, it. it. Mm. No. So as parents, being a, a father figure in your child's life, mm. you need to provide that guidance and trust them that they will understand it. Mm. Not 
deciding for them for that them, they will not they understand it. I agree with no. yes. yes. Because if Papa and Mama mm. is drinking, it's, it's, it's very tough. I mean, we are, we are guys. Mm. There are guys you find they are smoking. A guy is smoking, you tell my brother, don't smoke. Smoke is not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, yeah. not it's not <laughs> what everybody is telling yeah. you, you know? But one thing about kids is kids are very observant. Mm. If you think you are drinking in secret, smoking in secret, you think they don't know, mm. they will also do the same. Mm. They will drink, smoke mm. wow. in secret. Yeah. Mm. But what they don't understand mm. is how to control themselves once. All they see is what you do, but they don't see how you control yourself. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now, if you sit your children down, mm. like, okay, mommy and daddy drinks, mm. you understand? Because how long are you going to pretend that you don't yeah, drink? Yeah. You need to have a conversation with them. Mm. That these yes, are the, the danger effects. Yeah, yeah, give them a choice. Yeah. You understand? So that in the end you don't blame yourself that yeah. I never told them. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, just to, to, to finalize, parents, you are sitting in the sitting room and then there comes like a scene of sex on the TV screen. Yeah. You know what parents do? They chase you. Go, go, go to the room, go to the room. You're not supposed to say yeah. that. Yeah. But I personally feel that that is not right. You understand? Mm. That person, the mere fact that you've chased your daughter or your son, mm. they become curious. Of course. Yeah. They will watch, what channel was that? Mm. <laughs> what movie was that? Mm. Yeah. They will go watch it in their room. Secret, yes. In secret. And something good, they see that come out, they would want to try it. You understand? Whether you want it or not, it's inevitable. They will have sex. Mm -hmm. But let them have sex in a guided manner. You will not want your children to have sex. You understand? Mm -hmm. But that is not in your power. You are. You will not, no matter how strict you are, mm -hmm. if they want to get pregnant, they will get pregnant. Yeah. But at least teach them what is the replica effect mm -hmm. to that. <laughs> You know, last year my child, my, uh, my son asked me, no, beginning of this, yes. oh sorry, brother, yeah. maybe you have something to say. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to add to that one that you said, you know, people are chasing children when they are those kind of things. Uh, one thing that I'm saying is that we must teach our children to respect us, not to be afraid of us. Yes. Because you know, we are having that tradition of having this face to our children, this mm. scary face. Mm. Now this is the father, is on his corner, yeah. the mother is this side. So when your child is having problem, it's very difficult for that person to come and ask advice from you. That's where our children, they used to ask advice from friends, because they find mm. comfort and, and, and the person who wants to listen to them is their friends. They, mm. they find the, this comfort outside the house. That's why sometimes we are getting a very wrong advice from outside because mm. our parents they are having this scary for them. Mm. So we must learn them to respect us, not to be afraid of us. We must be friends with our children. Mm. Not to let them undermine us, yes. but to be friends Friend, with them yeah. so that they, if they have the problem, they can address it with us. So, <laughs> that's great that's question. I, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I want to just interject a little bit there. Mm. Um, because I think we're speaking from an ideal perspective. Mm. Mm. We know that in our communities, um, a lot of single mothers mm. um, raise children, girls yeah. by themselves. A lot of our community um, work from five in the morning, you take a bus, mm. go to town, work till like seven, come back. Mm. So when we think about parenting, and Ponty is, is an exceptional uh, parent in that he has that opportunity to have uh, a wife with him and a partner to raise his children, mm. but that is not the reality for most mm. for most people. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So how do we then start to have a conversation around raising strong character men, uh, strong character girls, when mm. our family situation, mm. right, based on the fact that we can't get a proper job or education, somebody's dropped out of school probably got pregnant early, etc. All of these things that we're facing in society. Um, how do we then start to actually ask ourselves to say, we need to talk about 
character and what masculinity means, what femininity means. If you are only getting that, your family has become your friends, right? Those are the people that actually raise you more than your parents. And sometimes even it can be that your mother or your father is and they should be in the whole time. So you found comfort elsewhere. So um unpack that for me a little bit. Whatever. Oh yeah, it's, it's true that uh, to, to raise a children is is having uh, baby families are not together. It's very difficult. Mm. Like me, I was also at that one I was one month and three weeks by my grandfather. Mm. Because my first parents my, 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 my own biological parents were fighting that mm. Mm. So, Yes. But where I went in uh, where I grown up now, where I was adopted, there was a people I think it was like Chinese one. Mm. Was a people who are having the financial power, money power, mm. who were now uh, Bad mouthing us and bad mouthing us, uh, calling us names, which is the things that made me to lose yeah. self esteem, mm. self confidence, Con- self confidence, mm. which led me to hurt other innocent people also. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, we need to raise our children with the people who are not criticizing them, undermining them. When you, you know, we're having the, the problem of saying that maybe. A child just steal a sugar at home. We call them that you are thieves, you are just like your father, just like your mother. Mm. You inherited this from your mother. You keep that person's self esteem. Mm. Mm. So that person will grow up knowing that even if you see something, a nice cell phone, and you don't want to take it, oh, it's a cell phone, I don't want to steal. But oh, my uncle said that I'm a thief, like my mother. What do you think? <laughs> That's a person that you are racing. Yeah, exactly. You are racing a criminality in a person. Mm. So we must be careful of how we how we the things we say ourselves yeah. in front of children. Mm. And to that one uh, of the of your question that you asked, I really have no that idea, but really my brother, we we as a parents, mm. we must put our children ahead of our decisions. Yeah. We must think of them before we make any decision that we make. Both parents, mm. not only parents, both parents. Mm. If they want to separate, they must, their children must be their first priority. We are going to separate. Why are we not going to solve this one? Because our children will end up, they are the one who will be. Mm. They are saying two bulls when they are fighting. So this is the one. So these two parents, they are fighting. So the children themselves. Mm. So the, we, we must address the issue at home mm. firstly before we separate because we let this soon as no, if if I may um just also to answer on to your question. Um I want to twist it in my own way, mm. in my own understanding. Maybe it's maybe advice to all the guys. If you are going if you make sure that you have a kid and you are no longer with your partner, mm. guys, please just make sure that you make time. For this person it doesn't does not matter whether you guys you are together or not but it is really important for you to be part of this person's life of your kids life and that's how it's going to build their character yeah. and that's how it's going to help like you're saying to have this pro this all these lovely characters um the only way is for us to be there uh, but it shouldn't be a thing of uh, <coughs> your partner anymore be be part of your child's life, Let me regardless you. of how your relationship is with your partner. Mm. Most men are suffering today yeah. as a result of women. That makes the men suffer because the women still want the men. Yeah. But the man does not, it's not, it's not, does not love the women in that way anymore. Mm. So now because of this, I'm withholding this child from mm. you. And I'm going to make you suffer because of, of this, of this that you don't want me. So I'm not going to make you see your child anymore. Mm-hmm. You, know, you must beg to see this child, mm-hmm. and you must pay. You understand? Mm-hmm. And this is what, in most cases, unfortunately, and pushes most men away. Yeah, no, and maybe also just where, and this is where maybe where we should also now come up with different platforms where yes. these ladies have to understand that you and your partner, you don't have to. Together, because at the end of the day, who's gonna suffer? Yeah, it's your kid. Yes, the kid. we have to have these open platforms where people could talk and say, "Listen, 
this is how it is. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. But now, in the end, if we try and play this game, yeah. who's gonna get hurt? I think a good conversation would have been women on this side like and men, men on this yes. side. And that's why I'm saying another platform <laughs> yeah. from this yeah. where we can have something like exactly. that. Exactly. Yes, okay. What I want to add on, on, on what you said, something that, you know, there's a saying that when you don't know where you are going, everyone is free to direct you. Yes. Yeah. And where you find yourself, you might not know where. Now, this child in a home that doesn't have direction, doesn't have a father figure, will end up getting direction from everyone. Because they say that when you give birth to a child, you give birth alone. But raising that child, you raise a magnitude. Now, that magnitude is not everyone would have a best interest of your child at the heart. Mm. I grew up without a father. But one thing I'm grateful is whenever I asked my mother about my father when I was growing up, she would tell me, I'm your mother and I'm your father. Just like just like me for in not really like that, but mm. my father not to say he wasn't there, but he, he is there. I call him but I don't see him. Is often it's not there. Yeah. So my my mother's brother, my uncle was always there for me. So I was like my father. I'm coming to that. <laughs> Very good. I'm your mother, and I'm your father. And she really meant what she said because she was there for me in a way that a father is supposed to be there for me. But there is always a limiting factor. I remember there was a time where <laughs> we were talking about uh, circumcision. You know, in my culture, speaking under college, I don't know, maybe people might have a different view. If you are not circumcised, when you are going to swim in the river there, you are not regarded as a man. They will chase you to go s- swim with ladies. There. Understand? Now, I was not circumcised there. I wanted to be circumcised, but there's no way I can come to my mother and tell her that, Mommy, I want to be circumcised. Do you understand? But luckily enough, in the family, now, I don't know, maybe just with wisdom that I grew up first, I had to identify somebody that I can picture as a father figure. Do you understand? And that picture of a father figure it's all a belief in your head until you believe it i wish we had enough time so i I can break it down for you to understand what do i mean let's look at this let's take a lady a lady every lady there's an ideal man built in her that this is my ideal man that i want a b c d and then comes the not ideal man and changes all that how by instilling faith in her and she start believing whatever you are telling her slowly but surely this woman's ideal man is shifted to you why because of the things that you say and that you tend now into the ideal man yeah so basically you can build your ideal man in the same way you can build your ideal father figure based on what they say I was telling like I would like to think that not knowing my own home that I grew up without a father, but I turned out well because I looked up to someone, not because they were doing something right as a father figure to me, it's because they were doing something wrong that made me realize when I grow up I don't want to do this. So father figure they shouldn't always be the positive. Yeah, I see. Excellent. Excellent. They exactly. always shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they always shouldn't be the positive. You must look at it and like, no, I don't want to be like this. But thank you, like you're the father figure in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can I say? Yeah. Okay. If if I can also maybe I can actually relate to that. Like let me say, okay, I grew up with 
they I thought is perfect father. I would say that. Okay, my, my dad passed on when I was in grade 12. But I would say I was fortunate fortunate enough that I, I got to spend some time with my dad. Mm. He was really not there most of the time, but the little time that he was there, there was so much impact that he had in my life. Mm. And that's the truth. And um, if, if, if I should comment, it's, it's uh, what is it? Like, I, I really thought my dad was this perfect guy. I'm mm. not going to lie. Everything to him, because I looked up to my dad. Mm. Until when I started growing up and my mom started talking to me, like, your dad did did this and that's how my mom has built me to become the better version of my dad so my mom was my <clears throat> mom and dad at the same time and she like you said your mom said my mom also used to say a lot because i'm not gonna lie my 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 dad gave me these few characters but who built and guided me all the way was my mom and that i'm so grateful for each and every day and i say it a lot like i'm not saying that it's a it's a bad thing that my dad is, is gone but I'm also not saying it's a good thing. It's, for me, it's 50-50. Because I think somehow I would have not been the man I am if this guy maybe was around. Mm. Oh, yeah. You're speaking. <laughs> it's, it's what I was... We, we, me and him, we speak. I, 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 I tell myself yes. right now that many people that would have grown up without a father would have resulted into other things, mm. alcoholism mm. and everything. I don't even drink. Mm. Yeah. You understand? I tell myself I am who I am today. Thank to the Lord because I don't have a father in my life. Yeah. If I had a father in my life, I will not be who I am today. And there's a long history to that why I'm saying that. We can conversate after yeah. this just for the sake yeah. of for the sake of time, you know. But that what we are trying to say is it's so sad in this life that it's true there are a lot of single mothers out there what we are talking about is an ideal situation whereby you have a father and a mother like what if you don't have a father my advice is this self-belief regardless of the evil world that is happening around you must identify what you don't want to become. Mm. You have a choice as a person. And I was that, up to now, I'm still that inquisitive person. I'm very curious. I ask my mother. Me, I ask my mother. And if the parents are honest enough, the fact that most women, they tend to paint a bad picture of their father who is absent, you understand? Instead of telling you that my child, yes, your father denied you. Because my challenge was this. When we go play with other kids, one gets beaten. He cries, ah, when my father is coming home, I'm going to report you. <laughs> or when my father comes home with a banana, we are going to enjoy. Now you are thinking, who am I going to report to? Who am I going to to provide for me this banana? You understand? The self-esteem is, 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 is damaged. There's just no hope for you. But now, these parents now, if the one that you're left with, if they tell you that, my child, yes, your father is not here. All you got is me. And you don't need to result in A, B, C, D for you to validate your father in your life. Mm. I know it's easier said than done. Than done. Mm. Why I'm saying this? Because for me, knowing that my father denied me when my mom was still pregnant, when I was in grade 12, I impregnated my longest time girlfriend. There were complications in the sense that the first time I asked her, she said, no, I'm not the father, right? The second time I asked her, she said, no, it's not me. Because we we're close in my mother. Knew. The third time she was with her sister. She said, no, I'm not pregnant for you. If I was pregnant for you, um, if I was pregnant, it will not be you. Two days after that, she's coming with the father in my mother's house that your child impregnated my daughter. Now, when we went there, my mother is asking now, 
My son has been telling me, I have already been anticipated, but you've been refusing that he's not the father. How come now he's the father now? Mm. Mm. And then she goes like, no, I was just scared that if I tell him, he's going to tell his friends and they will think I'm pregnant. My mother asked, is that pregnancy going inside or it's coming out? <laughs> because people will still eventually see, mm, you understand? Exactly. Mm. Now, knowing me growing up without a father and the things that I've been tormented to go through, I never wished that on any other person. Mm. Hence, as much as I had grounds to refuse my child, but because I knew it's mine, yeah. I had to accept because I know the devastating things that goes into a person's life when you don't have a father. Because when I was growing up also, trust me, I know many people, we, we lie to each other. I was a womanizer. And I came to find out later on when, when you confront these deep issues, because of that rejection of my father, I always wanted to be accepted. I would always be with a lady. When when I'm with the lady, all my problems <laughs> they are gone. You know, when they tell you, no, you are such a nice guy, you are this, that validation, that acceptance. And since it made since I believed that is what makes me a man, as a result of the absent father, I kept doing it. But was it Right or wrong, that's a topic for another day. Yeah. You understand? And how I thought to, to overcome that. But later on, when you realize that in the absence of Coke, I can drink stony. It is still cool drink. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I don't need to leave uh, stony because there's no Coke and go and drink window clagger because that's in another class. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's now what we need to identify is parents that are raising sing, uh, as single parents that are raising children that in the absence of whoever whether the mother or the father they still hope you can still provide that all we do is just in our power but god does the rest you will not detect how that child will tell but just make sure that by the time you are done raising this child you can, she can, he cannot point a finger at you that because of you, I did not do a miss because you are the one that grew with that mm. child. Hey, if I can also, <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, you say it a lot. Yeah, but but most of it, like I, I'm saying I can relate to it, most of it. Like you're saying there are single mothers most of the times, they like to paint a uh, picture. Yeah, bad image of, of the ab mm. absent father. Mm. But in my case, I was so fortunate enough that my mom, my mom gave me all the options. It was for me to pick the cards. So my mom would always go like, you know your dad, your dad was a macho. Even though he did this, I'm not gonna lie, that guy, that is the guy that would really advise you. So instead of just telling me the bad part of what my dad Our did, stories. he has all the bad stories, mm. it helped me in some sense to say that, okay, I, I think I got this. If my dad was like mm -hmm. this, I think I also got it. Mm -hmm. So I can also use it. So instead of our, our single mothers just painting uh, a, a bad image, they should try and give those characters because that's how you also find yourself. That's how you find your identity as well. Mm -hmm. So it really does help. I also think, you know, um, we must be truthful to ourselves. Even women must just be truthful to themselves. I know many single fathers raising the children alone, alone yeah. but who speaks of them and the men most men when it comes to such things they don't boast they just do the work right? yeah. you know blowing your own home most men when it comes to raising children alone stuff like this when it comes to those aspects yeah. most men will when they blow their homes it will be of the nice car they bought you yeah know? but not in, in, in aspects like that they will just do the work you know but women when it comes to that aspect they, they they want to be seen because yeah. also most men uh, i also understand women's side mm. because in our communities today societies today mm. when it comes to work uh, success women go, don't get the credit as men as women mm. you understand and because of that they look for credit somewhere else yeah. but now it has come to the wrong spot mm. it has come to human life you know 
has come to the to, 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 to the children that do not deserve this, you know. For, so for that, my advice to people, for, me, for women would be, let us just have one thing in agreement with the child. In spite of everything else, you can hate me, you can curse me, but let us agree on one thing, the child. Like, also, a question I want to ask is, how can you make sure that when my child grows up, you would be responsible? How can you build that trust with your son or daughter as a father? Look for me, eh? I am confident in my son because I make sure that whatever I install in him, he will end up to be 10 times the father I am. Like I said earlier, ten, I want... I know my child will be 10 times the father I am because I always tell him that. I always tell him that, uh, my son, I already see a good father in you. I already see a good brother in you. I already see a, a, a good uh, a whatever friend in you, you know. And, 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 and saying this to him, you know. Last year we moved to Ireland. We, we lived in Ireland for, for a year. My son won awards for Pupil of the Week. And then I asked them, what is Pupil of the Week? Because they said, my son helps other children in class. Mm. He motivates other children in class. And he stays, even stays behind helping the teacher clean the class. He's only six years old. And he won medallias in his first month for people of the week. And they would say he does not even speak out of his place. Mm. They've never seen a child so disciplined and that fears the Lord because he would always boast about Jesus and tell people about Jesus. Mm. And these are all the things that I taught him at home. Yeah. And I, I wonder, Something even up to this day, why was I surprised, you know, yeah. that my child is on that age, it practicing it out there. Yeah. I was surprised and I'm like, later on I asked myself, why are you surprised? Yeah. These are all the things you showed him. Yeah. He's just doing what he saw you, me do. And then I told him, my son, as you were, continue. <laughs> you know, I'm proud of you. So I know going forth even now, I always tell him, David, I want you to be 10 times better than me, please. If I do music like this, and I see you also want to do music, you also want to produce, mm. come, I'll show you how to do it. Mm. You know, I'll even buy your own computer, mm. and I'll, I'll download the softwares for you, yeah. and then you can do it, I'll give you all the tutorials, mm. so that when you're on my level, and I see you're on my level, that, then we can even work together. Yeah. And, and, and sons love working with their fathers. Mm. Sons love working with their fathers. Mm. But we should not be threatened by how better they get than you. If they teach you something, don't go like, hey, remember, you're still my son, you know, because <laughs> these guys, they are very smart and very intellectual, especially when, when you teach them the things that you used to do. They can become very quickly, if they stay longer in that field doing what my father did, they can become better than you. And they can even teach you some things and, and, and views that you as a father did not know and did not see. So for me as a father, I am excited for the day my child will come to me and say, Dad, did you know that this software can do this? Because I know when it comes to many things in, in my computer, in my softwares, I'm stuck somewhere. And I need fresh ideas from younger guys, you understand? So I can't wait for him to get to that level, to teach me a new things, you understand? So that I also can grow onto the next level, you understand? What is just to, to, to answer the Pandu's uh, question? When you talk of how do you make sure that your child grows up responsible? Remember, in the beginning of our discussion, we said that children they don't do what you tell them; they do what you do. I know there's a this meme <laughs> that was going on of this guy dressed in long trousers and, and they say that if this is your lawyer you've already lost your case i don't yeah. know if you've seen it yeah. Yeah. why it's because there is no it's not, there's no confidence mm. in that person mm. already mm. not because that he can't do it but because of how he looks already <laughs> representation yeah. is everything mm. You know how you look. Uh, this one we have had many discussions with my friends. How you look is everything to your child. 
if you walk out of the house walking with saggy jeans, that's how they will walk out. Too. Now, the secret, how I feel like the secret of making my child being responsible, number one, is for me to be responsible. Mm -hmm. I cannot expect you to be responsible I'm reckless. if I'm reckless. Mm -hmm. It does not make sense. And I spend 90% of the time together. When, before they go to school, even after school, they come, they spend more time with their father. Mm -hmm. So, me being responsible should teach my child to be responsible. Now, I know as parents, sometimes we have made mistakes because of time and error that we have lived. It's not always that, no, you are responsible. Mm -hmm. We have parents that are drunkards. Their children take out to be well, mm -hmm. you know? Like I, me. You see, you yeah. know, <laughs> it, it, it's not always, but they, there is hope. Mm -hmm. In a sense that my child, look at me how my life is. Mm -hmm. It's because I did A, B, C, D. That I'm, do you like the way I'm like this? If they're honest, they're like, no, like, yes. Mm -hmm. But there is hope for you. You know why we call it a legacy? Leave a legacy mm -hmm. behind. Mm -hmm. It's because of the things that you were not able to do. Mm -hmm. Somebody must do it for you. Just like we said the other day, yeah. we might not even reap the fruits, fruits. of our labor right now, now. Exactly. but we know the day will step into it so that when they start, when they start it everything goes. is there. So you have to be responsible as a person. Responsible how? We are not saying go buy jets, go buy what, mm. what, what. Sit one on one like this. Have a conversation with your child. Mm. That, guys, I'm telling you, even you see it in a lot of movies. There are fathers that showers their children with money, everything, <laughs> but they are never there. Yeah. They are never there. And there's this thing that I read that there's a child that was asking their father, Father, how much is, how much do you get per an hour? Mm. Then the father said the money. The guy went to the boy went to go look for the money and gave the father the money. Why are you giving me the money? Like, no, I just want to buy an hour of your time. Of your time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, um, <laughs> I myself am not a father yet, uh, and also didn't really grow up with my father. But I think that um, to be the ideal father figure, um, necessarily, maybe not really uh, ideal, mm. but it's just that I feel um, like, especially in you know, Oswambo fathers, they believe that, you know, because they, they raised you in a certain way, or they were raised in a certain way, or they have this Chilongo family that goes by this law yeah, yeah. or by this. You are supposed to turn out like them already, mm -hmm. or because you come from a teacher's house, they are all teachers, you're supposed to come out. But then, um, the problem is that, um, like you were talking about responsibility, we have a saying that pastor's kids are the most troubled kids. <laughs> no, really. I know yeah, some, yes, I know yes, and, was, and he was talking about uh, saying that um, he needs to show responsibility yeah. to the kids. Yes, but then there's influence from outside also. The friends who you choose at school, mm -hmm. what you see on television, what you allow your kids to see on television, now also plays a big role. Mm -hmm. on, you are as responsible mm -hmm. as you can be. But now I, my, I myself, I'm influenced the because I am I am a fan of Chris Brown and what what. Like I end up, I turn up to somebody else. No matter how much you you are, you tell them, no, listen, we as as the the, the Shilongo family, we do this and this. Mm -hmm. But I am the black sheep. Why choose to be the black sheep? That necessarily. That's not now your kid wants to be something else and no matter how responsible you are, the kid can still turn out to be who they are. So we're not gonna be now saying, No, I'm I'm this great father, but now my kid wants to be this. How how can we say so I don't know where that uh -huh. Yeah, no, no, just continue. I just yeah. want to comment up here. Oh, you can still add. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um just adding on to you on to yours next. So um <coughs> I'm gonna twist it a bit again. So um what is this? In order, in order to build, um, what is this? Your kid to have uh, sports, to be responsible. Like in my in my sense, like you say, do do the right things and they will do the right things as well. But also, what's most important, like you also mentioned already, make time with these people. Because at the end of the day, it's what you tell them most of the time. It does not matter how many times you tell them this is wrong, this is wrong. One day they will really get it. And one thing I've always believed is that as long as you've told the person that this is wrong or right, it's, it's up to them. Mm -hmm. 
for them to, to either realize whether what they are doing really is wrong or not. That's up to them. But the mere fact and the most important thing is always for you to tell them and tell and point to them that this is wrong, whatever. Mm. And that's how it also works with kids. Mm. I am basically taking care of my brother's kid. And one thing why I love that job so much so much is that I get to do all these things that are it's for me it feels like it's a test. Mm. It's one preparing, in preparing myself, thank mm. you. Mm. When I'm to have my kid. Because I always call that guy and I'm like, you know what? Because I know he's he's very naughty, I'm not gonna lie. But one thing I realized and it's weird enough, he looks up to me as the as the father figure. Because of what? Because of what I do and what I tell him. Because I'll always call him up and say, you know what? This that you are doing is not right. But I know you might not do it, even though you talk, tell them that, okay, this is wrong, don't do it. They might still end up doing it. But what I always say, like you also mentioned, it's hope. You're hoping that one day they will really get it. Because it will kick in whether you like it, it will kick in at the back, but I was told this, this was not right. It will really kick in. And also just going back, let me just finish up. How I, how, how my dad somehow built my character. Okay, like I said, my dad was somehow different. He would never state the obvious. Mm. My dad called me one day, and this is how why I'm, I'm so proud of him. He said it in the, I think, maybe maybe other people would have taken it the wrong way. But the way I got it was so good that I still thank him till today. Because mm. he called me up one day and he said, come here. You see those? Yes, those are my cars. It's like, uh-huh. You see those? Yes, those are my cars. Am I right here? Uh-huh. Okay, and those, I have two houses. I have how many houses? And it's like, yeah, now try and see if you will be better than you one day. Till today, it hits. And why I love it is because I'm still trying to build myself with the motivation that I got from my dad. And it, it helps me. Yeah. It builds me. Just mm. just like my uncle, because he was like kind of like my father. He yeah. is, actually. Now, he one day, was, it was just a regular day, I said to him, he came home. Then, like, it's like, he gave me the talk-ish, I don't know. We told he told me about life. He just yeah. told me how how it will go down, and he like gives me that talk every day, not every day but most of the, the time, time he gives me that talk just to make sure when I grow up I grow up in the right path, mm-hmm. so so I don't make the mistakes that he makes. Just uh, my final point on on, on on that question is, yeah. what is important? Most most important is you find out that. This child grows up with all parents, mm. but they still don't turn out right. Mm. They are not responsible. Mm. And for me, in as I as I mentioned earlier on that I do mentor some kids there and there. When you notice, you get <laughs> you can be a father, biological father, but you cannot be a father. <laughs> in terms of providing everything that that child needs. Yeah. Not because you don't want to, but because you just lack yeah. that in you. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, the problem comes here. Ego as a man. You don't want to admit that I'm failing in raising my child. Mm-hmm. You will always want to still continue and continue. Mm-hmm. But I call it doing something what, what, what do i call it sometimes you do something right but you are causing more damage mm. i'll come back to that mm. in a sense that let's say me and you will argue or fight what is the right thing for me to do is to apologize that no we had a misunderstanding i want to apologize that is the right thing to do mm. but me constantly coming to you to apologize it irritates you you are still angry you understand? Mm. I'm trying to do the right thing, but I'm causing more damage by making you more angry. Mm. You understand? Mm. It is the same with parents. You want to do something right to raise your child right, mm. but it is not coming off as that. That's why I always believe that you can you can love someone hundred percent, mm. but you are loving them wrongly. Mm. So is a child. Mm. Now the best thing to do is once you know your weakness. Go to your brother. Your, if, if you have a brother that his kids are coming out well, mm. it will not diminish you that you are failing to raise your child. Mm. My brother, can you groom this child of mine? I think I'm not getting through mm. to him. Mm. Yes. Do you understand? Mm. When 
they do that. That's why I said giving birth, you give birth alone. But raising a child, you raise a magnitude. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You cannot do it alone. Mm-hmm. Now, when they do that, this child becomes to be responsible. And when you see now what they respond to, because you did not see it, somebody else made it, you realize, mm. then you can build. It does not say it's not your child. Mm. Thank you. In our culture, we have this thing we call tough love, mm. you know, mm. where parents are just angry. Yes. <laughs> you understand? Mm. Sometimes I'm that kind. <laughs> <laughs> when, when parents are just not, just angry, yeah. but that does not respond to what the child needs. Mm. You don't even give a child a chance to explain. You are this, you are this. Yes. My last point is, what Ponte is saying is true. Words of affirmation, words can either break or build your child. Mm. It's your own making. Yes. If this child grow up believing that it's useless, mm. you will continue being useless, like you say. Yeah. Mm. Because they believe nothing good comes out of them. Yeah. So who cares? They already know me. I'm useless. Let me go ahead and do this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but when, especially when the father is saying, mm. but when you call him like, you know what, Pando, as much as everybody calls you useless, I see potentials in you. Yes. Your potential lies in A, B, C, D. Mm. Now, for you, because they have to be a proof of concept, mm. you understand? Just not words. For me to prove to you that you are more valuable than this, Take this, do A, B, C, D, mm. and see what the result will come out. Mm. Pando does that, the result come out very good. Yes. Next time, he builds it in his mind like, oh, okay, I can actually, as much as I'm a drunkard, I can be able to start to sell tomatoes here and get my own money and not steal it and buy. It. Yes. You understand? Mm. You are curing now, making money. Mm. He's continuing to drink. He will make money and drink it. Yeah. The only difference here now is that he's not stealing it. You have eliminated that part. Yes. Now you tell Pandu, Pandu, you know that this money that you are selling tomatoes and get, you are buying alcohol. Do you know that if you take one year and go buy onions, that money will be more? Mm. And then go like, okay, now if it's more, you just take out this one and drink. This one, put it aside. Yes. Now you have achieved another thing. Yeah. It's, 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 it's saving. Small, surely, just why? Mm. Because of a belief. Yes. If nobody believes in you in this life, mm. you are as good as useless. Mm. That is the main concept. So to build this responsible man, we need to believe in them mm. and their potential and groom them to become what we want them to be. Mm. We just help them. Mm. I just wanted to. Yeah. Yes. Let me hit that one, my brother. Uh, there was a day. After the event that we had at what is that? That location? Yeah. Uh, I was invited to Shiro region. So people they get my number from from from, from that uh, that interview. There is a mother who called me from somewhere. He's having a sh- a boy child, which is now having friends, is drinking and smoking and whatever. Mm. Okay. They send that boy from the barbers. To me, I I, I, I I want to add to what my brother has said that sometimes we don't see what is in our child, mm. but other person can see. It. Yeah. Mm. Or we don't want, we don't understand what the child is doing, but other, there is a person who will understand yeah. it better. Mm. I asked that way because I asked him, oh, how, how many friends do you have? Do you children? No, I'm having seven children. Uh, seven friends. Friends. Oh. Firstly, I asked them, oh, are you having a game? Are you in the game? No, I'm not, we are not in the game. No. I asked the mother, is this boy in the game? No, it's not. I asked, oh, how many friends do you have? No, we are seven. No. Who is the head of that French, uh, group of yours? No, we are, we are all at the same level. No. Who is the guy who is stronger than you guys? No, no he's who? He's calling. No, he's calling. No. So he's the one who's telling you things that no, even if you don't want to do, you have to do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's, he, yeah, he's doing it. Oh, okay. Sometimes he's deciding for you. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes you're doing things because he wants you guys to do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. When one guy 
one of you, one of your friends be beaten. What are you guys doing? No, we are also uh, helping you. I say you are in the gang. It is a gang. You start gang, people they don't know that gang started like me and my brother, we just staying together, we are friends. The other one, like how we are staying, he came join us. The other one came with it. Then we see the power in this mm -hmm. gathering or whatever. And then, mm. like the Johnson, your name to be known. To yes. be known. Yeah, That's how gangs started. I told that mother that your son is in the gang. And gangsters, I, I, I spent six years in prison. And I know what is gangsters. And I know how you be sentenced when you are in gangsters. Mm -hmm. Life as they are there because of gangsters. We are <coughs> like this. Maybe we attack someone. You are the only one who stabbed that person to death. All of us will be sentenced for 85 years because of you. Who mm -hmm. it? Because we are group. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we injury to one, injury to injury one. Injury to one, yes. That's how gangsters mm have -hmm. been counted in, our, in, in this country. So people, they don't know how, 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 how what the role of the friends are playing in their children's life. Uh, friends are things, are people who are destroying also our children's lives. Mm -hmm. Especially, I cannot say it's boys, because even girls, they are like mm -hmm. that. They are seeing the in their own mode every day. Yeah. So, one thing that people, they don't know is that if you ask your child, if you want to know what they are doing in their life behind, just ask them what their friends, who are, who their friends, are their friends to, so that you can know what your child want to become, so that you can now guide him from there. Show if me, you did, show me your friends, and so that I can tell you who you are. are. Yes. So if you do not see, if you see that you know, my child is maybe going to change every day, like my brothers have said, but the friends that he's having, they are all friends. Parliament. Yeah, it's parliament. Yeah, parliament friends. So there you have to know already that no, this child is fine. Huh? He's just going to change because he just like a duty. But behind my back, what is it my child is doing? Yeah. That's what I was telling you that we must not be a parent with these scary faces. We must be friends with our children so, so that we can know what they want to do. So that we can stop them from that. It is not the right. Yeah. Because friends also, they are just like, ah, why are you not doing it with us? Just join us. Then they tempt you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes also to just to impress a girl or something like that. Uh, you, you are talking like you are prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, the grant that I have committed that led me to stay uh, to, to, to be sentenced for six years in prison, for eight years, where I spent six years in prison, I did it because of friends. Friends, we are having this, uh, we, we are manipulating each other, yeah. saying that no, uh, no we are gen uh, what, is, what is the word that you are using? <laughs> they are using one word today. Uh, Jitters or whatever. Jitters, yeah. yeah. If you are not doing that, then you are more. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> like we are manipulating. Mm -hmm. We are manipulating each other. So sometimes, if you don't, even if you don't want to do that, you end up doing it because you are afraid of being called that. Being called that, you, you are more. Mm -hmm. Who want to be called more? Well, might not show the gang anymore. The voice anymore. Yes. Yeah. So you want yeah. to belong to something. It's to something. Yeah. yeah. So. That's the thing, and and, and, and that, well, what causes a person to, to enjoy those kind of things or to entertain those kind of things is because they lack three things that I believe in. It's to let to have a, an assertiveness in yourself. A yes has to be a yes, and a no has to be a no. Mm -hmm. And a yes of someone else has to be a yes. Mm -hmm. You have to accept it. And a no of someone has to be a no. Mm -hmm. Accept and it and respect it. You want to be as a man. Right? Yes. And you have to have a boundary. I think it's my brother or you who told who talk about the boundary. You have to have a boundary where you say, okay, here is where I will end. Mm -hmm. So there is where someone else boundary start. Mm -hmm. I got to respect, you got to destroy to, to, to draw your boundary yourself. Because if you do not do it, I think it's you who said it. Someone will do it for you. And he will just do whatever he wants because he's the one who draws that boundary for you. The third one is to have choices, the right one. Because the, the just single move, the wrong one, 
You might be destroying your life again. Rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I destroyed it. Today, I, I, I got a criminal record of the case that I committed while I was 14 years old. Who won't be inflamed? So it's good also to open our people's eyes to have this kind of conversation. I'm very proud of you, my dear brother. Because if we keep these tickets to ourselves, yeah. other people will fall where we fall. Mm. We need to open up. We need to open up and share this kind of story to help other people not to come fall at the same tribunal. Can I add on that? Mm. Many years ago, in my, in my grade, eight, grade 10 there, mm. I told my friend, um, I've given my life to Christ. Amen. That was the deepest scar I've ever gotten from a friend. After that, mm. they don't make friends like that anymore. Because he told, when I, once I told him that, he said, if you come with those Jesus, you just think we just Let's just cut our friendship. Yeah. <laughs> and this was somebody I grew up with from the age of six mm. up to 16, 17 years. Mm. You know, he was my best friend. And I did not ask him to become what I had become, but just sharing uh, uh, that moment in time of where I was with him. And he tells me that it scarred me so much, but luckily then I already knew as a man who I wanted to be and who I wanted to become. So I did not let him uh, change what I, had decided in my life that mm -hmm. I would be, you know, mm -hmm. where most men would say, hey, I, I don't want to lose my friend, <laughs> you know, and uh, if, if, because if I lose my friend, I won't have friends, so, mm -hmm. and I, I will lose that, that circle. I think most men, are, it's, it's also a sense of belonging, you know, you feel like if you are not with that circle anymore, uh, what will become of you, what will become of you, what will people say of you. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important as a man, to, to like Kalenga said also, uh, why Why are you following Christ? Identify why are you following Christ? Who you want to become in, in life? What type of man do you want to be? What type of, of, of friend do you want to be? What type of father do you want to be? You know, and then and, and stick with the decisions you've made. And don't become like, you know, uh, 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 like, you know, when, when storm comes, those trees that are so much, lifted up by the wind and storms that come, mm -hmm. you know, but deeply rooted in your beliefs. You don't stand you know. for it, you fall for it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, be deeply rooted in your beliefs. Uh, it does not matter what those beliefs are. If your beliefs are uh, being a helper, if your beliefs are being a good father, you know, if your beliefs are being a supportive father, not only to your son, but also to to the son's mother, mm. then stick to those beliefs and stop listening to what other people are telling you. You know, yeah. be strongly rooted, and that also shows character. Mm. You know, I want to quickly ask a question in that. Mm. If you guys can help us unpack a little bit more. Um, I think in the first decade of a young boy's life, mm. uh, by the age of 10, 11, when his voice starts to break and wet dreams and all those things, the body starts to shift and change. There's a little bit of a crisis. And that's why I'm seeing a lot of boys dropping off in the rails, like falling through the cracks. Between the ages of about 10 to 21, mm -hmm. that decade, right? Um, trying to talk about what you're saying, sense of belonging, uh, friendship, gangs, all these kind of things. As this physiological shift start to happen in this child, mm -hmm. and those cracks happen, how do we actually start to bring proper intervention? Because he's not a man yet. Mm -hmm. He's a young man, I guess. Yeah, he's not a boy. So he's not a man. Nature. Yes, he's a teen, right? Mm -hmm. So they have, there's a sense of he needs to be independent and make his own decisions, mm. but at the same time, he doesn't have the uh, agency mm. to make full decisions, right? Mm. So you cannot just you cannot also just let him go and say, yeah, you're big enough, whatever. Mm. But he's also not a child to be said, go do this, go do this, go do this. Mm. So he, he's rebelling mm. against that system of protection. 
but he doesn't have the capacity to work to deal with the responsibilities. How do we start to help young men that are in those teens' time, right? Want to be independent, want to feel like they belong, want to pronounce themselves. I always see, see them almost as a, you know, my dog is like, when other dogs are around, they want to go pee around. Mm. That's the market's territory. Mm. And I almost see that, that when you're in your teen years, like you want to mark your territory in this world. But sometimes that you mark your territory has significant consequences, of course. Yeah? And as adults, you can see that, but as a as in, Jerry, from his yeah. perspective, he doesn't see it. Yeah. So how do we start to have conversations and help young men in that space who are trying to wrestle, being not a boy, but yet not a man? Now, in this aspect, as parents, right? Is, is that a question? Or is parents is a community. It's okay. like, so said, like when, if you start like taking your child in the right way from when you are young, mm-hmm. when it's like, in that stage of being not like when he's a teen, he it won't be as hard as like when you didn't teach him from a young, young from mm. a young age. Young. Absolutely. Point. Let's see who's talking, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just point it out. I yeah, guess like point. you are right. Remember, my, my question that I want to ask is this: mm. What made you realize that? For you to ask that question, it's because. There is trend of history mm. that has been observed that from this age to this age mm. it becomes A B C D. Absolutely. Now, what is the history there for? Mm. Is to inform our future decisions in tackling that issue. Mm. Don't know if I make sense. Yeah, never together. together. In a sense that as a parent, forget it whether you're a first time parent whether you are if you are father to four or five mm. knowing the black culture mm. we were raised together so you one way or another you have had siblings who are not your siblings yeah. from your aunts from how you were raised and we, you, 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 you as a parent you have seen how they were raised in english so sorry my sister let's talk of menstruation let's say from a lady's point you automatically know as a parent as an aunt as a sister yeah that this girl child no but this girl child that i'm raising there will come a point where she will start having periods right and you need to equip yourself for that day when it comes Failure to do that, you failed as a parent, and that is ignorant. Mm. That brings me to my point. Mm. It's because we are ignorant and we don't pay attention into these children's life at that age mm. to help them navigate. We just make so much. But in the entire fact is, we know this day will come. Yeah. Mm. Because you, as number one, as a father, as a brother, as an uncle, you have been through that. You have been through that. Remember what I said. I was rejected by my father. Now I don't want to reject another uh, uh, person or I don't want to reject my child because I know the consequences. Mm. Now if you apply it to a boy child, you know what you have gone through growing up. How you didn't have somebody, a support system to help you navigate these challenges. All of a sudden, you feel like you can walk on top of the world, but you're still a child. All of a sudden, you feel like, you know, how it felt, how you wish you had somebody to help you. Maybe in that period, like you say, you have learned mistakes that have cost you. Now, truly now, you're going through that, and you know you have a boy child in the house that you love. Wouldn't you take a keen interest in you know, like ah, this is the age where I was studying to do this. Very soon it will happen for this one, and just guide them in experience. Mm. But we don't do that because nowadays in this life, everyone is on himself. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Everyone is on himself. I want to do my things. Ah, no, I need to meet the point, the man. He's there suffering. I'm not even paying attention. You know, mm. sometimes. You can know somebody so well that ah, 
Mm. If Stephen is quiet today, uh, mm. something is wrong. Mm. But you don't know when is Stephen is happy, when is Stephen is angry, when is Stephen is sad. What all those things we don't pay attention. For me, I would just coin it just there. We need to start paying attention because nothing under the sun is new. Mm. Nothing under the sun is new. If you were an uncle, you have gone through puberty. It might have been the toughest way, but does it not mean somebody has to go through the tough way? You know, parents have these things. You know, during our time, yeah. we used to walk barefooted going to school. <laughs> yes. But I'm your child now. So you also want me to walk barefooted to go to school to feel your experience? No, it doesn't have to be. Just buy me shoes to go to school, yes. but teach me that don't be entitled mm. to yes. these things because I'm here. Yes. You can get your own things, and life goes on. You understand? Mm. It, it is the same here. It is the same here. The person shouldn't go through what you went through as yes. a teenager and everything. Mm. You need to take keen interest. That is, this is a plea now to as fathers, a plea to uncles, mm. uh, to yeah, whether they child doesn't have a father figure in their life. There's an uncle. There's always a male figure somewhere. Mm -hmm. A father doesn't have always to be just biological. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't have to be. Yeah, um, sorry. Uh, also, just to elaborate more on the experience side of what you say, uh, that um, because you have worked um, barefoot, you should now not let your child go through. I think also sometimes, especially if you're a parent, some parents are afraid for kids to, to go through things. Um, let's say for instance, um, how should I put it? Some experiences in a child needs just to go through themselves and realize that, oh, okay, things are done like this. Maybe, uh, for instance, uh, get a beating at school or whatever it is, like a fight or whatever. You try as much as you can that, no, a child, listen, um, going into a fight is this, no? or, and I understand it's how it is, it's how you want to bring up your child. But now circumstances will always come, you know, and, and fight. We don't look for fights sometimes. Fight just come. So, you understand? We don't look for some some experiences we don't look for. But unfortunately, because you are a child and your as, as I say, your friends now, you just have your cool friend. And all of a sudden one your friend gets beaten up, you have no choice but to help out your friend. Mm. Now you're telling your child that uh, under no circumstances should you engage in any kind of fighting. Mm. Now but now in this case, what do you do? Would you really be proud to say that okay? Uh, you know your best friend, you know your, your son's best friend got beaten up by this. Whether now it's a PM, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a what's called, it's a PM, it's a, they are the same age. Mm. Now, would you really be proud to say that they came, your kid came back and said, Yo, uh, dad, uh, my friend was beaten up, I ran home, uh, this is the situation. Or would you have said something different, say, Oh, what did you do about it? Did you, it was, and that's depending on the circumstances, would you now, how would you advise that now? That's, um, uh, no, no, you can go. Well, <laughs> it's a very difficult question, but you know, that's why on this Africa Ben, always my brothers and as we are there, we are saying if you raise your child with violence, that child will be a violent person. Even if you, if, you, if, if your child's friends have been beaten, the only things I think you have to tell your child is just, if you can separate them, just separate. If you can, just look help me up. Rather than involving yourself in the, in the, into the fight. Because nowadays, people are dying like nothing, like flies. Mm. If your child is involved in that, uh, in, in that fight, he beat someone to them. Then you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are sitting there with your child case, and in those cases, I'm not finishing. You know, I told you that my case started while I was 14 years old, mm. but it ends while I was 22. It's when they sentenced me. Mm. So, see, I wasted much time. Uh -huh. So, so uh, what, what I actually wanted to, to say is um, to say to stand up for each other. Well, how would you put it to say, okay, look, this is the situation, mm. but we need to also stand up for each other now. You understand? Standing mm. up for somebody as from that young age, mm. there is no, there's not really much option how to tell a child to stand up for somebody else, right? Mm. 
there's no there's no way of saying no you need to perhaps call a union call a lawyer there's no much mm. option for tending up so how do you tell the child to stand up for another child mm. if, if, if i may I, I fully understand your mm. your question mm. what makes it very interesting because it is practical mm. it's what happens mm. now for me to try and answer that question is 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 not what has happened is how you move forward from there you understand yeah how you move forward from there because that is inevitable mm. it will happen mm. you will not be there mm. but most of the time what we tend to forget is we look at the result of what happened but we forget all the series of events mm. that led to that happened so now we must create the series that would lead some to a new road <laughs> yes you understand let's say for example innocently i'm going to my club go drink alcohol dance to my music all of a sudden people are fighting outside the bullet bar it catches me i'm dead you understand the problem is not because i'm short the problem started with my decision <laughs> to be there yeah. where i am yes. when you know in your mind that when people are drunk when people are at the club 90 percent it's not good things 10 percent is the good thing you understand it's very lucky if you come out of a crowd where they did not pour you alcohol but yeah. you do not look for it yes. you understand mm -hmm. so that is what we need to cure now in training your child to avoid finding themselves in getting into those fights because those fights you just don't walk and then you are fighting yeah. they lead to they come from yeah, someone yeah. okay let's say you have failed in mitigating because this is mitigation risk assessment and everything mm. let's say you have failed that now that it's done what is the damage control to make sure that it does not happen you know you can slap me now my brother da that part is done whatever i do next it is not because you slept me it's because of the decision that i'm taking myself yes. why because i have a choice to run so that the next slip does not follow yes. mm. you understand mm. <laughs> yes. you, you understand mm. i have a choice to fight back mm. you understand so many choices you have mm. now as a child as a father mm. when that happens if you really want your child to be responsible mm. then you need to teach this child in a manner that warrants responsibility rather than encouraging that thing because we know that's inevitable yes events in life they are inevitable mm -hmm. nobody walks out of the car i mean out of the house going in the street to bump their car mm -hmm. you understand but they tell you put on your seat belt mm -hmm. you understand so that in case it happens this some events they will you know put a camera in front of your car so that insurance can and all mm. things they put you i'll tell you that uh, in my line of work i, I have a cash loan eh? namfisa will tell you I, i like to be practical namfisa will tell you cash loan business is 100% risky mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. but if you do a b c d you reduce the risk to 80. Mm -hmm. If you do A, B, C, D, you reduce the risk to 50. Mm -hmm. If you do A, B, C, you reduce the risk to 50. And I tell you the truth. If you do those things, you don't give people to uh, that are already owing. There's, hundred, there's a chance that you get your money back. Because if you give to uh, one person that's owing two people, he will have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. If he's aggressive, he will be scared of him, so he will pay him first. Mm -hmm. You, you will suffer mm -hmm. because you are nice. Mm -hmm. The point I'm trying to make is there's always points that you can do to mitigate the risk of them getting into that fight number mm -hmm. one. And after as it happened damage control what is it that you can do as a parent to make sure that it does not happen away. Mm -hmm. Maybe because after school instead of them coming straight home they still around and do things that warrants now in fight you understand we are not saying don't have a life yeah. but you know that this life that you are choosing to do it has consequences and the consequences are this 
Mm. I think uh, I would want to put it. Yeah. Mm. 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 That conversation that we have now. Mm. Bambi, you've forgotten about us. Yeah. We can have this conversation yeah. for, the longest, for the longest time. Mm. I think what must be asked is, mm. as Namibian men, mm. what can we do? Yeah. Mm. I would love to see Namibian men stand together. Mm. What kills us as <coughs> Namibian men is our diversity. Mm. We are very much diverse. Tribe yeah. kills us. Yeah. You know? But I w- what I would love to see is not even yeah. I was in Angola and I've realized one thing. Mm. You find white Angolans, light Angolans, and black Angolans. Mm. But what makes it beautiful in there, in Angola, is that they only speak, speak one, language. one language. And as a result, there was no racism mm. amongst one another. If there was a, 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 a dress code, they all look the same, whether you are white, colored, or black. Mm. Because it was one tribe. Mm. I would love to see us men as Namibians, knowing that this problem exists, mm. find like a movement mm. where we walk in the streets with our kiddies or with you, what, but look professional, as much as professional as possible. And also then in the, in, in have some uh, Kasaun saying, you know, we as Namibian men, we believe in this, we believe in this. Walk with us, Namibian men. Walk with us. Mm. You know, make videos where, you know, just like a video that will say, you know, the guy is about to beat the girl and then he see the man in this dress code, this Namibian dress code with the kiri mm. and he looks at him and say, ah, ah, ah. But no, we don't do this. Exactly. Yeah. This. You know, stuff like that, you know, to remind Namibian men who we can yeah. be Let's as Namibian men. Mm. Yeah, nice challenge. Yeah. You know? We have to start a movement yeah. because we can sit here and talk. But this message here, unfortunately, will not reach everyone. Yeah. How do we make this message reach everyone? Yeah. As Namibian men, what can we do to spread this belief that we all have in common? Yeah, it's, it's true. Because remember when we started talking that the biggest problem is there are people that are violent not because they want to be violent mm. no it's because that's the only thing they have known mm-hmm. for you to undo that you need to test a different kind of exposure mm. and the exposure how in dialogue we need to have a dialogue mm. you need to tell me Stephen, no friends this is not the road Mm. I was once confined in this situation where you are, and I did this and I came out. (coughs) There's a point you were talking, I can't forget, I can't remember what the question was. The biggest problem also we have here is, as much as you want to become better, the world outside, they pulls you to... I'll give an example. Like I told you, I was one guy that was busy with ladies, But right now, when I made the decision that I'm going to be a one man's, one woman's guy, yeah, like I'm just going to be faithful, you know. The problem is we are not honest with each other as men. Yeah. You want to look good and what what in other people. I guarantee you, for a year and four months now that I'm with my current girlfriend, mm-hmm. there. Every one of my friends is looking at me like this guy is like maybe tomorrow is another one. They find it so hard to believe that you have changed. Try eating alcohol and see. You understand? Everyone, so bringing it to a boy child, yeah, I think it came well, how do you want your boy to be responsible? Most of the time, a child has made a very, very big mistake. That is paint you as a parent. Mm-hmm. Let's say he took your car, drove it, and bumped it. The guy is written off. Because of that, you will always think your child is a reckless person. Mm-hmm. Even if he tries to change, you will think, I, he is lying. Day, one, day. one day, one day. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, that negativity, it what causes the person not to be like, ah, 
there. So I cannot be better. Can I just go back to my old ways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As my friends know me. I guarantee each and every one of us here. If you take your years back, or even now, or what I did myself when I did a f- self-reflection, mm. I found out that I have specific friends that only call me on Friday. Mm. <laughs> I have specific friends that only call me on Saturdays. Mm. I have specific friends that only call me on Sunday, mm. Sunday session. Understand? Now, if these friends, they had something that they wanted from me or either my company or whatever. Mm. You understand? When you make that decision that I'm no longer doing this, mm. the battles you'll be fighting, sorry, my brother, to stay in line because you have changed, because you have found your true identity that no, that is not what defines me. I tell you, I want to be this person. Mm. What are these battles? Those, those battles. Mm. For me, it was women. Mm. Growing up, I would say, not uh, blowing my own horn, as much as I grew up without a father, mm. I was always an excellent student in school. Mm. It depends from which angle you view it, but I like to talk about the people I got because somebody might be motivated. Somebody might be motivated in a sense that if you keep quiet because you feel like no, it will come off as if I'm boasting, mm. you are also denying somebody to see the true. I will tell you this. As much as I didn't grow up with a father, mm. my mother stopped paying for me in grade seven school. Mm. From grade eight to twelve, I got a scholarship from the Finnish government. I'll skip college. My first degree, electrical engineering, I went to Russia. I got the scholarship. My master's, I went to UK. I got a scholarship. You understand? A person, I've never been interviewed for a job, all the jobs that I've had. You understand? A person will think now that, no, maybe because my mom, no, it's not my own part. I'm a man that believes in God. You understand? And I have come to understand that my identity is in God and God has made me to be successful and to reap all these benefits. Mm-hmm. And even if you come to me, Stephen, and tell me that you will never come anything in life, you are lying. I will just listen it here and it will go okay. fair because I stand firm. Mm-hmm. Many people go like, oh, I grew up without a father. Self-pity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel sorry for myself. <laughs> I want to do this. <laughs> then you want to go and drink alcohol. Resonate in do you understand? Mm. But I chose a different path. Mm. And this, you cannot do it alone. You need to speak out. Mm. I will not prophesy what battles you are going through. You know, I told my friend, guys, I am in a relationship. I want to build a family. Mm. If you are true, my friend, you will not be encouraging me to go look for ladies, but you should be a guardian and somebody that protects my relationship. Mm. If you cannot be that, the door is open. Mm. Mm. You understand? Mm. Why? Because no matter what, anything that they will do, it will not change what I have mm. decided. Mm. That's why to a certain point, I always feel like, for me, peer pressure, yes, it is there, but to a certain point, I feel like, I, because I have friends that drink. I'm one person that will go to a club yeah. just to dance till ah. sunrise. I will not touch even a bottle of alcohol. I will just drink one and walk out. Mm. Mm. You understand? I don't condemn my friends, but I just tell them what eventually, because of who I am and the people that I'm mentoring, when they see that, when they see that determination in you, it what changes them now also to be better. So the message is you must not give up and conform because you are being told now you cannot be faithful because of your life. Let your past be your past. And we are refusing to be better men in society because of our past of what we have been subjected mm-hmm. to by our parents by everything mm-hmm. but we can put a stop to that if you only choose to and you cannot do it alone i need to come to steven steve my brother i'm feeling this way this way you will be surprised what will come out of steven's mouth because the thing about life is this i might be battling with this issue 
I'll come to Ponte. Ponte will say it. Mm. No help. I'll come to him. No help to you. No help to him. No help. Same thing. Until he says it, then comes the breaking point. Why is that? It's because you never gave up. It was just a seed that was built by a point that was just being built on. It is not what you say. It is how you say it. Thank you. That. You guys, I think it's a damn word to end. I have the last question. Uh -huh. I can maybe push in two minutes each one to mm -hmm. on this topic about on social media where women are posting that men are French and all that. And like, what impact do you guys think it has on on boy childhood? What if like, a boy is exposed to their conscience with their mother and they're always saying men are French? What would like, what impact does that boy have? <laughs> I think there's no there's no such thing as men of trash. We can also say the same of many women, mm. but there's men we we choose not to. Um, yes, there are rapist men. Yes, there are killers. Yes, there are cheaters. Yes, there are absent fathers. But what about me? I'm not. I'm also trash. I've never done one of the above. Mm -hmm. Am I now under the same umbrella as all the other men? Mm -hmm. While I'm sitting on this side, mm -hmm. looking for a way that we can work <coughs> together in bettering those men, in showing those men another view together. You understand? There are men that feel your pain. We do feel your pain. And we are also disgusted by the things we see with you. You understand? Unfortunately, you don't know who we are. Because uh, we have not fully uh, introduced ourselves to you to be known. But we are there. We are there and we are sitting here as men together and hoping we will come up with a solution on how we can you know, speak to more men on just creating that identity for them to see another view, another perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, that's, that's a very, very, very good question. But I would like to perceive it as it is a question of perception. Mm. That men are trash. Says who? The lady that is writing it. Mm. Based on what? On the experience yes. that she went to. Mm. Now, the experience that she went through, it might not necessarily be the true reflection of what the reality is. Mm. Like my wife would have something else to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, you understand? So to answer that question is that you, as a, as, as a boy child reading this or being exposed to this to, 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 to social media, you have to understand that there is two sides of the story. Of, the story. Story. <coughs> of a, co to of, a of coin. A coin, yeah, mm -hmm. of, of a coin. Getting to the deepest root of that, you have to be inquisitive now. Is do research because one thing we have is a problem. We don't do research and understand things. I can just hate Stephen by mere fact because he said Stephen is not a nice guy. Mm. But I never took time to understand why is Stephen not a nice guy? Mm. What did he do that warranted Stephen to be not a nice guy? That now men are trash. Mm. And I've come to realize, remember when I said that women build the ideal guy in the head here. Mm. And they try to pin you to be the ideal guy. If they don't get that out of you, you are trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So since it's the last uh, question uh, that he asked, my point here, I just want to encourage ourselves that this is a thing that I read here in summary of what we are really talking about, boy child, that men cry, men get anxiety, men have emotions, men feel insecure, men get anxious, men get bullied, Men have suicidal thoughts. Let's support men. And you are not alone. You know, we need to put this into our head. And 
we need to expose these are my concluding remarks mm. we need to expose ourselves to the sense that if you tell a man to behave like a woman what i mean by this women are bubbly women they are not all of them but yeah. that's the perception yeah. that women they talk about the emotion they will tell you how they feel and everything mm -hmm. if you introduce this and normalize it to a boy child yeah with repeated affirmation of this instruction to the brain mm. then they start being like that mm. meaning they start opening up mm. talking about their emotions not bottling up mm. talking about the demons they are battling with mm. and find solutions now when these solutions are found i'm sorry but men are perceived to be the problem not women now, once this problem is fixed of men, women really, the, the ego mostly is with men. With women, if they do so much to cure whatever their demons are, then these two can coexist in one society. But as long as we are gonna go, men are trash, women are trash, when i meet a woman that woman's perception already that this man is trash there is mm. no belief that i can be better mm. we cannot exist mm. so as men knowing that this we are not alone in it mm. we are a lot and we can be helped mm. i think it will help can i just say one thing before, before i forget it mm. i want to encourage women in this most of the things that is also contributed by women and they forget it. Yeah. The Bible says, with the words of a woman, she can build a king or break him. Mm -hmm. You will see, history has shown, if you go to the club, most clubs will say it's free for women. Yeah. <laughs> but men must pay. Mm -hmm. Because men go because they are women. Yeah. You understand? depending on what they find there that's why the bible also says women you have no business dressing up the way you do because you know men are moved by their eyes imagine what this world would be like if there was no woman that wore like a whore but wore and dressed up like a woman men would have no other choice but to accept what was there because that's all we know but you give them options. Yes. You give them choice. Yes. You understand? And as a result, as women, you also kill each other. Because you know that man has a, has a, has a wife. Yeah. But you dress up this way to spoil him. So that he can leave his wife for you. So amongst yourself, you also kill each other. In the process, you also kill us. You understand? Because we are moved by our eyes. So the question is, women, what is your value to yourself? How do you value yourself? You understand? And how do you help me? Not and how do you help me? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, At the end to that one, eh? the question of my brother <laughs> is that the men are what? A treasure. A treasure. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lady who, who wrote that one on social media where she know that even her own child a boy child is going to read it uh, we that's why i was saying that we must be careful of what we are saying in front of our child or uh, when you are raising a child and you are telling him that the men men are killers mm. what are you means your boy child also the father. Are you? Yeah. Father, and you, when you one day when you grow up, you will be a king. Yeah. Instead of saying that no, in the world, there are men who are like this and that, this who are doing this and that, and there are also men who are in this side who are doing this and that and that. And I want you to grow up in that way, in this direction. Yes. If you say men are trash, it means your your boy child is also trash. Will be. So we must be careful of what we are saying. Mm -hmm.
that's also a wrong part of her story mm. that she said mm. she, yes she's trying maybe to learn or to open people's open eyes yeah. but in the it's, 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 it's a wrong it's, it's a good move in the wrong direction mm. yeah. so, or, and and really if we are not blind ourselves or what mm. we men we, we are really taking the wrong path why am I saying this? In prison, if you check, mm-hmm. there are prison for women also. Mm-hmm. And there are prison for men. Even here, here, men will be having it. Mm-hmm. And if you check the percentage of the people who are in, in especially who are, who are in, who are in prison, mm-hmm. men are too much in prison. And people who are here, where I have stayed for six years, they are at the age of 20 to 35. Those are youthful people. 20 to 25, there are people who have to be in universities. 26 to 35, there are people who have to start now working and generate something for, 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 for our country. But they are full day. So I think as a man, I'm going to my brother that you said that we must raise, we must rise and start now motivating men's movement. movement. We must start this movement. And also we must go there. And march together. March together with those people and give them courage that no, this will end. And we want you to be like how when you leave this place. There is one of my brothers who said that people they are coming out and reoffend again. Then they are going back. Mm-hmm. It's because of what? We don't accept it. They, they come out and they, 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 they come in the same circle. Sex, same circle. There's no men we, standing up showing them another way. Yes. Mm. As a community also, we don't want to accept it. Mm. Mm. We are just seeing that all ah, pictures... The guy is coming out again. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, uh, there, 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 was a, there, was a, there, was, there was a day that I went visit someone. And where I went, I did not know that it's a family of the person that I offended that time. Mm-hmm. But the way they welcome me, the mother of the person that I had to welcome me, mm-hmm. but the sister, mm-hmm. hey, mm-hmm. what is this criminal doing here? Mm-hmm. You know, but I went with one of his, one of her son. Mm-hmm. The son was very angry, but I was just laughing. Mm-hmm. He said that this person, you don't know what she's doing. I'm already past there. Mm-hmm. She must call me whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. But yeah, look at it. To me, I accepted it. But it, 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 to, to another person, that person who uh, reaction would be insult and what, 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 what. Or let uh, now you, you, you kill that person, self esteem again. Mm-hmm. You end up taking the wrong path where he was again. Mm-hmm. But what did you create? You create a monster in that person. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we must also, as a community, we must change. The attitude towards the people who are ready for. Mm. We mu- they must be our weapons, mm. not our enemy. They must be our weapons to use them to teach mm. others mm. not to fall where they are. I think it is also safe to say that you are not who you were. Yes. Mm. That is mm. true. When I said last year we visited the prison, mm. you know, when we got that letter that we are going to the high maximum security, security yes. <laughs> you get scared. When we went there, the brothers that we found, they were so calm, so nice. You, I, I it changed my view of what prison mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Because your, your view is like they are criminal yeah, that looks like I don't know what. Mm-hmm. But these guys were telling us what we are saying that us that are here, we are the first hand experience of what we did that led to what we did and how we ended up in here. So, crime, as much as they are locking us in prison, crime is not in prison. Yeah. Crime, is crime is outside sorry. there. Mm. The idea is take us out. We are not saying we must not save our punishment. Mm. Every man has to be accountable of the, the face the consequences. Yes. But take us out of here. Mm. Take us to schools. Because the time when we did this, we in our age of school, mm. take us to university, some of the age of our university, and we can tell these people. Mm. But because of the system that no, you going out 
That is a luxury. Because the punishment is for you to be ill. Yeah. But yeah. we are not solving real problems. Yes. You understand? Mm. I, I agree with what you say. And you have to encompass that, yes, there is possibility of change. Yes. The fact that I'm in prison, it does not mean I'm a bad person. Mm. Probably I just made the wrong choice at that yes. time. Mm. And we need to understand that. Mm. It will help us men. See, because talking, talking, talking without experience and personal uh, uh, conviction that you can relate to, mm. it can just be water under the bridge. Yes. And w when he's talking about him being, so I'm looking at the person now he's talking and he's been to prison. If you are not touched, then I, I don't know. If you, are, if you cannot believe that there can be change, then I don't know. So as men, we need to come together. And use whatever resource necessary we have mm. to 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 Guys, care I have this. to leave this. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, unfortunately, I have to show. Sure. Are you fine? No, I'm good. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until next time. Until next time. Until next time. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah. I'll call you. Later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, Maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay. let me just also add on to that. And it's and it's so much to we we really need to normalize this good in society for men. We need to make it seem not seem but we need we need to make it that there is good men out there. Yeah. And we need for for us not to be is it um breaking each other as men. Mm. We need to find a ground a common ground where where when a man does good we try and normalize it that guys we mm. can also do good or actually we do good mm. we, we 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 are not supposed to be accepted for the wrongs that we are doing in the community we are supposed to be for the things that are good those are the things that we are supposed to be facing but yes. still, in communities they are facing the wrong things mm. when we do bad that's yeah. the time when they clap but yes. they do good and mm. they are all silent mm. so we need to yeah. as men yeah. like we said the movement we need to normalize wow. this doing good mm that it is we are supposed to be doing good and we we supposed to make it seem that it is normal to do good not as when people find it normal when you do bad mm. yes yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i think i just want to create one thing um to say, show you. Mm. i think it's imperative that we it's not a division mm. i think we should not go between male or female, this is the issue. I think the men are trash conversation, as you said, is a result of somebody's experience. Mm -hmm. And we need to validate the need and affirm that experience, mm -hmm. right? And at the same time, um, in affirmation, affirmation of, that this, of that experience, mm -hmm. not further vilified, right? Mm -hmm. um, and women must be able to wear whatever they want to wear, Go wherever we need to go, and not allow that to justify our behavior. Yes. True, as you have said mm. as well, that if I slap you right now, your response as a result of the action, mm. it is yours. Mm. So regardless of if girls walking down naked in the streets, whatever, the result of me raping, the result of me violating, mm. is my decision, mm. not <coughs> as a result. Of me. So I think it's just important that we just clarify that we yeah. don't, um, and that that kind of thinking, right, in our in our minds that we need to be able to take responsibility for to say this oh. is my action yes. that I've done, not because of what the other person has done, yes. right, um, and that we call each other out when that actually happens. Really it's, it's just, it's, your friends are taking you out of life to call you out and say, hey, man, Relaxing, I think you're going to be too far in space. But what I, what I absolutely appreciate uh, in this conversation is there's been some great, meaningful um, engagements around society, how we raise our boys, the result of peer pressure, the result of family structures, etc. How that starts to shape um, how we grow in our masculinity. I think what's also very impressive to see is that. This new generation of men that are actually say that we, we cry, we are anxious, have suicidal thoughts, and I think 
we are now starting to unlearn, right, the toxic behavior of masculinity. And I think even as much as we want to blame our fathers or communities, to a degree, they did the best they could with what they had, right? True. So they tried to be the men that society expected them to be in that era, in that, era, in that space. Mm -hmm. And we call out what is wrong, we acknowledge what they did right, and we forgive them for what they did not do when they were not able to do. But for us to start to create a different generation, mm -hmm. to become different kind of fathers, to become different kind of community mm -hmm. leaders, brothers, etc. Men that are accountable to one another, um, encouraging each other, and that it's not only one person that has the responsibility to raise, but that um, I can raise somebody in empathy, and somebody else can raise someone the same person mm -hmm. in consciousness, somebody else raises that same person in awareness around structure, and politics, whatever. But we recognize that there's something that I can contribute, but my contribution is limited, and therefore I need the whole village. To contribute, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's when we start to actually start to see change. So, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. 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 I'm a man of God. God, you are there because God knows you can handle whatever is yeah. that at that point. Exactly. When the Lord is ready for you to take up another challenge, you will see. And trust, we need to trust processes. Yeah. We need to trust processes. Without that, it's, it's, it's. you need to trust the process that you need to pursue a woman Absolutely. and not rape. Exactly. You understand. Exactly. You need to trust that process. Mm -hmm. But all these things, I'm thinking where we have done justice to them. Self-esteem, ego that I cannot be able to get the woman to my own way with my own talking. Mm -hmm. So let me take matters. Those are the things that we need to, exactly. to, to impact. Absolutely. But it was beautiful in the engagement. Yeah. And stuff. Thank you so much. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> wow.